Groggy. Whew. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Uh... There empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Okay. Let me see if I remember what I was doing. Do not collect collectibles. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Son of a bitch. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Just huh. took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. Hey Bruce, do you remember me playing this game? Splendid, Alan. Like two and a half years ago? We can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. <laughs> that was a whole ass lifetime ago. Yeah. You, I know yes, I it was. Get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. Paranoid delusions. Unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> given me. Oof. I had to fight not to believe his words. Um. Yeah, dude. Uh, tw January of 2019. Apart from the tragic accident with your. Was the last time I played this game. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. <coughs> um, by the way, I have a theory about why they did Alan Wake Remastered. So in Control, which is like the same universe, um, they released a DLC that ties the events of Control with, you know, Alan Wake. So, with that said, and then they teased, I seriously think the ending of that DLC teased a potential release of the sequel to Alan Wake being like 2023 or something like that. 2022, 2023. And, uh, they figured... Let's release a remastered version of Alan Wake to get the hype up, to, to get that connectivity between Control and Alan Wake, especially for the newer players, because this game came out originally in 2010. So, that's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching! <sighs> Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. 
It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. <laughs> well, really? No matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. You, you know who else loves the house? The, the fuck if I can talk? Hear their own voice? Uh. Senior management. His words echoed madly. Also, streamers. Inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. I love how my mic stand is like if I have, if my mouth itches I just rub up against this pop filter and just itch my mouth. Uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt the great outdoors. What's the deal with him? Nature, it's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> that's me. That's gonna. That's gonna be me when I lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, Mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night. That's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mister Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's definitely going to be me when I lose my mind. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Oh, yeah. It's ah. trash. How dare you say video games being trash? Video games is an escape to reality. It makes us relax, have fun, enjoy. You know. No kidding. Shut up. Video games are awesome. Like I said, Emerson is going to be me when I lose my goddamn mind. That's copyright. Come on. Let me let me out of here. That's copyrighted music. The typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Night Springs, the board game. These two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s. Hell yeah. Old gods of Asgard. By the way, fantastic music. New first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Drugs! Women! Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For all now, of a sudden, there's an echo. Has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Wow, they really want me to write, huh? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. <laughs> Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? 
It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. It's a manuscript. Zane could feel the poems. See, that's th these things are unavoidable. I was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? My name's not Thomas Zane. There's a collectible right there. Yeah, good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. I'm a bad dream, and you can't wait Take control. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Thanks. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Okay. That's locked. I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Indeed. It's the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toaster. Talk, talk. Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room. God, they really get to your room by those stairs, wake. They really want me to write, huh? Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. Peekaboo. <laughs> I almost used that gif dark for on Twitter, by the, the way. Is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging. Shadows. How's that for a webcam? There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Whoa, whoa. Oh, look, another collectible right there. Okay, quit. Mental note to myself. Um... Kind of, wait... Huh. There's other patients here, right? Alright, that's locked. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Alright. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. <laughs> My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Yep. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Holy shit. Love to. The crazy old fart hit her hard. 
If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room of Wilson Clare. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. destiny. It's my store. I'm taking it. I love those two old guys. The old gods of Asgard. And they have really good music, too. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Uh, I don't remember this is a collect- it is a collectible. Can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent, he's- Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I- Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Oh. Tell me, Mrs. Wake, what would you say to him if he'd listen? I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, huh. and not you, as some stranger who resembles you. Manuscript page. From behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much, and now it's all going to go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. You, I'm trying to remember what the lore is in this game. About Alan Wake and Thomas Zane and how they're related and Let her out of here. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass and quit. Is that Barry? Ow! About time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. There it is. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. I didn't I don't have many manuscripts, by the way. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Whoa, whoa. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Well, the darkness. Wow. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Collectible. Ow. Oh, great. I'm just going to go upstairs. I'm sure that's safe. Fuck. Fuck. Perfect. Uh, okay, looks like I can go back downstairs. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What if 
if I turn on the lights and then just book it? Two? Th oh, fuck, fuck. Fuck. I know timing. Ah, right, it's book it. Go, 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 go. I just hmm. uh Okay, what do I do? Uh Can't really shoot that, can I? I don't have a flashlight. I guess I could use a flare. Wow, they really just give you like just enough. Alright, that's a collectible. Can't open that door. Can't open that door. Is it gonna supposed to like bash the door open? Yep. I'm low on stamina. Help me. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, fuck. I felt like my heart left out of my chest. I was not expecting that at all. Great. 